Intensive livestock production is dependent on the routine preventative use of antibiotics. It couldn't operate without that. Because animals or birds have been kept in very high numbers in confined areas on their own faeces, infection is inevitable. That's why they use antibiotics on a routine preventative basis. A pig, for example, in the UK is typically on antibiotics for 20% of its life. If it wasn't, it wouldn't survive. And the poultry being produced in these big broiler sheds are the same, that they are dependent on routine preventative use of antibiotics, which then leads on to a buildup of antimicrobial resistance in these animals, which passes to us through the food chain. This means that when people then go to hospital, they may have antimicrobial resistant infections on which the antibiotics in hospitals will not work. And increasingly that's leading to higher costs of treating somebody in hospital and longer hospital stays. And that's the cost that we're increasingly paying in society. We could be entering a post-antibiotic age. So any one of us could get a common infection in 20 years time and die from it in hospital because the antibiotics won't work anymore. If the animals are allowed more humane conditions, lower stocking densities, they don't get these infections and the use of antibiotics is therefore unnecessary. The government must ban or phase out the routine preventative use of antimicrobials on farms. At the moment they are looking at medical overuse of antibiotics but they are completely failing to get a handle on farm use of antibiotics. And given the scale of farm use, where just under half of all antibiotics in the UK are used in farm animals, that is a huge omission. And we're very concerned that although medical use may be addressed, if the farm use isn't also tackled, then because of transmission from farm use to humans, that will undermine all the efforts that they're making on the medical side. As shoppers, we all have the option of buying either a more vegetarian diet or any meat that we buy, checking to ensure that it's not been intensively produced in factory farms. Organic meat, for example, or less intensively produced meat or from local suppliers where the method of production is more humane and healthier. That's the option we all have. If anyone would like to help our campaign, please go to our website, sign our petitions, and send in your support.